Welcome to Kanazawa. In this video, we're going to show you guys some of the best things to do in this area, starting with El Micho Market. So we're going to go try some fresh sushi, maybe some giant oysters, mm. Evan's favorite uni, sea urchin. I guess I'll be trying that one myself. But <laughs> I'm hungry. You ready? to a really local spot. It just opened at 10.30. To get here, you have to put your name on a list and the first 20 people on that list get a very special sushi set for only 700 yen. And we just met a woman who's local to the area and she said this is the best place in El Micho Market. I honestly don't even know what most of this is, um, but I'm excited to try it nonetheless. I think this might be tuna. Let's give it a go. That was incredible. The fish, I know it's cliche, but literally melted in my mouth and it wasn't fishy at all. This is so good. Let's go for the raw shrimp here. A little bit of soy. Like melts in your mouth too. <laughs> Is it sweet? Got a little sweetness to it, yeah. Nice mm -hmm. and fresh. The waiter just brought us some miso soup, but it's not your ordinary miso soup. It's loaded with shrimp heads and clams. Oh. I'm just so happy that was the best sushi we've ever had in our entire lives. I just love Japan. All right, so we just got probably the most expensive ice cream we've ever purchased. This was 990 yen, and it's soft serve cover with 24 karat gold leaf. You might be wondering why we're eating gold leaf ice cream, but actually 99% of Japan's gold leaf is produced here in Kanazawa, and it's a very popular treat. Let's give it a try. Tastes like soft serve. It doesn't really have like a flavor. I don't know what I was expecting, but. Maybe more metallic. I smell really fancy. <laughs> Tastes like gold. I love gold. <laughs> so after the sweet gold leaf ice cream, we had to stop and get refreshing beers here at Hayokaman Johanna Beer. So today we want their daily flight for 1200 yen. So we got the La France, La France. It's like a sparkling pear. Hakama Ale, a malty beer-like beer, it said. <laughs> the Mugia, which is a Japanese rice lager. And we also have the Blood Orange, which is gonna be a Blood Orange beer. What are you gonna try first? I think I'm gonna try the Hakama Ale. That one's nice and malty, a little bit of bitterness to it, almost like a extra special bitter. Nice and refreshing. This smells like pear jelly bellies, which pear is my favorite jelly belly flavor. Oh, I wonder if it's sweet. Ooh, this is so weird. It's like, it's like beer and champ, like pear champagne mixed together. Wow, this is, I've never tasted anything like this before. Mm. Wow, it's really good. I would like to thank our friends Chris and Lance for buying us these beers. Yeah! Like today, if you'd like to support the channel like Chris and Lance, you can buy us a coffee on the link in the description down below. Alright, 
friends. The Hamicho market it was so good. We had to come back the next day to get some lunch. Um, today we're going to be trying a salmon sashimi roll and a few other things. Oh my gosh, the salmon looks so perfect. Do the giant oyster sashimi here at the market. It's a thousand yen. A little lemon juice on there. Well, a lot of lemon juice. <laughs> that thing's as big as your hand. Yeah, it's a big guy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Very fresh. Really tastes the Sea of Japan right there. So <laughs> really salty and briny. Salty and briny for sure. Pretty filling there, so <laughs> definitely recommend these at the market. It's Hold like, the shell up to your hand. Like, see how big it is. It's like almost as big as your head. <laughs> you don't want to pick that up though, right? I can pick it up. You can pick it up. And how sharp it was. <laughs> now we're gonna try sea urchin or uni for the first time. Evan says she's not a fan. No, it's like, it looks like tongue. I like <laughs> tongue. And it's like creamy? Yeah, creamy. You got like a definitely like fishy kind of flavor to it. Pretty good, dude. Mmm. Not an everyday thing, but <laughs> every once in a while. I also think it's worth mentioning that this market has a much more local feel. It is busy, but it's not like crazy pack if you watched our first video in Tokyo we went to a market and it was like felt oh, really touristy this one's a lot well really blonde very blonde so not natural that's why <laughs> <laughs> 